Welcome back everybody, Derek Sue, your 2022 Oakland mayoral candidate. Uh, today I want to talk about uh, a real hot topic here in the city of Oakland. It, it's been the recent rash of crimes uh, inflicted on Oakland Chinatown and its residents. Um, you see some real violent uh, shoving where um, these seniors have, have literally gone to a hospital and, and I speak on this because uh, I have a, a personal um, uh, attachment to this because my father uh, back in 2008 he was uh, a victim just like these seniors were my father was 75 years old and two um, assailants uh, went to rob him and um, he tried to protect himself and they ended up knocking him unconscious and literally ripping his pants off of his body and took his wallet, plus the keys to his car and his home. Um, and while my father was um, in the hospital uh, being uh, looked at and attended to, nobody thought about these criminals having possession of my father's house keys. And uh, <clears throat> with the wallet, they, they have his address. Uh, they know that he's, he's not there and the likelihood of somebody being there is probably pretty slim. Uh, that's why he was there in Chinatown by himself, plus he's an older gentleman. And so they take advantage of that. And when they went to the house, fortunately, they were met with my dad's dog. I mean, a big dog. Um, and so that's what protected the home from being uh, robbed and uh, uh, protected my dad from being robbed and victimized a second time uh, by these criminals. And that's what these, these folks do sometimes. Uh, these were, were just obviously uh, uh, individuals that, that wanted to cause some mayhem injuries without thinking about the consequences of, of what they're doing, especially to a senior and, and a very vulnerable, uh, vulnerable population. Uh, and in many times uh, at this age, they're not, they don't walk very well. Their balance isn't very uh, good. And, and uh, unfortunately, at, in a lot of this uh, age bracket, uh, falls and, and shoves like this can be very devastating to one's body, or, you know, meaning broken bones. I've seen this time after time again. And so uh, we want to encourage Oakland Police Department to really search these folks out, get them off the streets. They're dangerous. Uh, they think it, it may be funny. It's not funny when people are getting hurt. Uh, like my father, uh, he was victimized right there in Chinatown. Uh, he was shoved down. He is knocked unconscious. His pants ripped off of his body. They took his pants, took the wallet and the money what little bit of money my father had in his pocket, the keys to his car and home, and victimized him a second time. So these are the things that we have to really look at. You know, just uh, on the surface, you, you see harm being done, but then there's also secondary harm. And, and these are the same type of tactics that we see happen with uh, carjacking victims because they know <laughs> You got the house keys, you have the access, you have the victim's car, you have most likely the remote to the home, so you don't even have to work hard or even try and figure out which home it is. So these are the type of things that victims you know, suffer through as a secondary attack. So we have to stop these individuals and the $25,000 reward put up by Daniel Day Kim and the uh, other actor, you know, that's going to, going to hopefully bring somebody forward to uh, speak up and uh, take these uh, evil people off the streets. Thanks for joining me today. I'll be right back.